pathogens are what you imagine they would be. Microorganisms that we might find on food, either they're on purpose or not, that can impact the human body and cause disease. We want to know how bacterium gets into uh, the food supply system, what it does when it's there, and the impact that it's going to have on human health. In my case, we try to understand how bacteria get from one place to another. And what we study, particularly in my lab, is bacteria that are able to turn themselves around in the flow and actually head upstream, perhaps where we don't want them. We tend to use um, very specific devices that allow us to control the physics and the chemistry and therefore the biology of our organism. We use microfluidic devices. We pump fluid through on the order of microliters uh, per minute, so very small flows. We can add up essentially all of the forces acting on the bacterium and then predict where it might be and when it might get there. Many bacteria are able to swim, they're able to propel themselves um, through water, for example, and we try and understand how effectively they do that so we can predict when a bacterium gets into an irrigation pipe, for example, how far it will travel and how to flush it out of the system more effectively. There's a lot of opportunity for pathogens to be introduced when you have a lot of machines that aren't necessarily cleaned terribly well and lots of handling to get the food from one place to another. It's amazing, actually, if you think about it, that we don't get sick more often. Knowing how bacteria get from one place to another can be applied to groundwater systems, the urinary tract, irrigation systems, anywhere where there's flow, and being able to predict that can have an impact on human health. It's biology in action.